I'm sorry. Chris Allison lost the love of her life in 2018. She and her husband Troy were at home on a summer Saturday night when he started having difficulty breathing. Had this happened before, or no. was this the first time first that time. something like this? First time. Troy, who suffered from diabetes, said to call for an ambulance. They checked his vitals, and he said his sugar was a little high. And he said, "I, you know, I think I'm going to take him over just for a precaution." And I was, and Troy, I was like, "Are you okay with that?" And he said, "Yeah." It would be the couple's final conversation. Troy was transported a few miles away to Mount Carmel West Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. According to medical records from the plaintiff's attorneys, Troy suffered at least two heart attacks in the ER. The chaplain sat with Chris. Troy was taken to the ICU, where the night shift doctor was William Husel. He says to me, I'm 99.9% .9 sure there is no brain activity, that he is brain dead. His organs are shutting down. I'd like to give him something to make him comfortable. A short time later, the 44-year-old husband and stepfather was dead. It just wasn't adding up. Months after his death, Chris says she got a call from the hospital saying he had been given an overdose. Troy received 1,000 micrograms of fentanyl from Dr. Husel. They said they're going to give him something to make him comfortable, then fine, give him some. He didn't say, I'm going to give him 1,000 micrograms of fentanyl and he'll be dead before you enter the room. That would have been a different conversation. Mount Carmel told CNN in a statement, what happened was tragic and we've made a number of changes designed to prevent this from ever happening again in our health system. An investigation was initiated by Mount Carmel and found the doctor allegedly administered deadly doses of painkillers to at least 25 patients. In 2018, he was fired and the following year, his medical license suspended by the state of Ohio. It is our sincere hope the families of these victims will find solace by the state of Ohio holding Dr. Usel accountable for his devious conduct. Prosecutors charge Husel with 25 counts of first-degree murder. 11 of those have since been dismissed. Husel has pleaded not guilty. William was a compassionate doctor, and that's why he's standing trial for murder, because of his compassion, not because of some criminal act that he, cur that he allegedly committed. His attorney says each of Husel's 14 patients was near the end of life, and the doctor was preventing needless suffering known as comfort care. This is the very first time comfort care is on trial. And I, I don't want a, a prosecutor telling my doctor or me that my loved one has to die in pain. It's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. It's not their business. Now, there is no standardized dosing for comfort care medications when a patient is close to death. It is doctor discretion and is based on the entire medical record. Husel is facing 14 life terms, but they, the patients had multiple medical issues. I mean, the, the gentleman that we profiled, Troy Allison, had many medical issues that were dire. He was close to death. So to prove that he caused the death beyond a reasonable doubt, is going to be difficult for the prosecution, but this is very important for the future yeah. of comfort care medication, one way or the other. Look, it's a complicated case. These are complicated discussions and issues yes. for families as well. This is going to be a trial about death.